everyone. I'm currently doing laundry right now because I have two private clients today, so I'll take you along with me. I feel like I haven't done that in so long. So right now I'm just doing laundry, getting my sheets all prepared. Let's get started. I just realized I forgot my keys in the laundry room. <gasps> right guys, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful sky right here. So excited for springtime, for summer. And let's chat a little bit because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I am finally sitting down, guys, but I feel like I haven't talked to you in so long. I have been really busy with my private clients in the last couple of months as well and building up my clientele and hopefully someday I can really focus on them rather than the clients that I have in my spa. So that's what I'm working on. I'm also, I have been working on a lot more content creation, not for this channel, but for UGC. If you don't know what UGC is, it's basically like user generated content for like different brands. So I'm working on building up my portfolio for that. And the great thing about being a massage therapist is that you can really um, focus more on your hobbies or side hustles, things that you really want to achieve because it's such a flexible job. And of course it's not a perfect job because I have been really burnt out a lot of the times and things like that, but it has provided me the comfort to do more content creation and really explore this passion, hopefully make it more of a full-time thing. So I've been doing a lot of that in the last couple of weeks and it is a big passion of mine, but anyway, so that's the great thing about being a massage therapist is that you can really do your passions you can do your hobbies um but again you know it really depends on how often you work because if you work more it can be a little bit of an exhausting job if you're like working constantly and your body's tired but if you you know work part-time and you're taking care of your body more i think it's a great way to really do what you love so that's what i've been doing plus you know um working more on my private clients and I will create a website soon, probably this week I'll create one. I'll take you guys along with me because I love creating websites and I want to expand my business, things like that. Right now I'm getting ready because I do have clients um, in a couple hours. What time is it? It is 1.33. My first client's at 3 o'clock so I want to start driving there around maybe 240 she doesn't live too far away and so I have oh my gosh okay I have an hour to like film a little bit more content for my this YouTube channel right over here and then uh, that's why I'm mattifying my forehead because I don't want my forehead I feel like in my last videos I've been a little bit shiny in my videos but anyway so let me know what kind of content you guys want to see for this channel because you know i love massage therapy but i just sometimes i'm like what do i film i'm not sure sometimes so um, i have other things that i want to explore on this channel and i'm super excited for that if you want to follow me on Instagram, over here is my account as well as my UGC TikTok. UGC is where you'll find a lot of my videos where I post about different brands. Um, and those videos are really fun as well. So I've been super loving that, but, oh, but as far as massage therapy, I honestly cannot wait till I can fully just work for myself and really grow my clientele my mobile business and work on my own hours because honestly it is getting a little bit harder to have to work around someone else's hours because there are a lot of things that my husband and i want to do we want to travel more this year and i just feel like here's the thing guys when you work for a spa you have to work a lot of weekends and of course it can be flexible in a lot of ways but also you have to work on weekends and that's the most, that's the hardest part of it all is working the weekends because I want to travel on the weekends. I want to, you know, do other things with my friends or with my family. 
and it's a little bit hard and again i only work on saturdays and i only work like four hours but still that's great and i'm super 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 grateful for that but also it's just like i can't really schedule flights if i have to work on a saturday so that's the hard part about it you know it's, i i don't want to complain at all because i'm very grateful but I just can't wait till I can make up my own hours, work for myself. I want to solely start working for myself someday where I can like have an income where I'm, you know, a massage therapist and I also create content. Um, so those are my, my jobs because I just, I feel like ever since I was younger, ever since I learned what the word entrepreneur was, I wanted to be an entrepreneur, I wanted to work for myself, I wanted to make my own money my own way and be creative and I feel like with massage therapy and with um, content creation I can be super creative especially when I have my own business but I have been loving my private clients lately I think they're just so awesome a lot of them are parents that, you know, they really want to get massages, but they work really high demanding jobs where they're working on long hours or they're just, just very busy and they don't have all the time in the world to go to a spa. So those are the people that I massage. Those are my main clientele or they're like retirees and they just love me going over to their homes. And I think it's so cool, especially where I'm at right now, like my clients, they live in such awesome neighborhoods and I, I like to explore different neighborhoods and I was driving around um, and I was driving around a couple weeks ago um, during my private clients going yeah, while I was going to their homes and I was just feeling so grateful I'm like wow where I live right now too and this area that I live in is just so beautiful like it's gorgeous i love the hills i love the greenery i love the trees like i'm just trying to be more grateful with my life because of course you know we can all get into our ruts and life isn't perfect and things like that but i'm just trying to see it in a more like grateful perspective and know that like i have everything that i need like and you know, it's not about the money. Like, I know money can afford you a lot of comfort, which is awesome. But at the end of the day, like, I have everything that I need. And I'm just trying to switch my perspective because it's great to work hard. It's great to be ambitious. But at the end of the day, like, you have everything you need. And, and God is there to provide everything for you everything and faith is what matters hope is what matters so that is really like it's been helping me a lot lately so also my skin has been a lot better like very very little breakouts because i am using korean skincare so i don't want to wear makeup i'm actually going to film a little bit for the youtube channel but it's like hmm i don't want to wear makeup so but yeah also the products that I use. This is the new product that I use for my massage clients. It's by Soothing Touch and um, this is the brand that I use at my luxury spa. And I love this brand. This is actually a massage gel. So it's not a massage cream. It's not a oil. And I just feel like this is better because it smells better, has better ingredients. And it's also, um, I feel like it doesn't stain your sheets as much. So I have everything in my um, Amazon storefront. I have an Amazon storefront now, guys. So I have all my massage products that I use, things to start a massage business. And I'm very grateful for that. Other things that I am taking right now to boost my immunity because I have been a little bit sick is Super Green. So this is from NutriChamps. So this is great for, you know, having your green intake. It has 10 green superfoods, no sugar added. It has uh, 10 billion probiotics here. So it's great for the gut, great for the immunity, great for the skin, great for energy. And then I also have this Miracle Moo. This is colostrum. I've been seeing it all over TikTok and Instagram, but it's also great for your immunity as well. So... These two things will be in my Amazon storefront. 
chapter under the health section. As a massage therapist, we have to be as healthy as possible. We have to have as much energy as possible. So that involves exercising, that involves taking some supplements, eating healthy, getting enough sleep. All of that is super, super important for massage therapy. So, okay, let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna film a little bit and prepare my script for my next video. Actually, I think this will be my next video, but sometime this week. I want to film more, guys, like at least two videos a week. I've been slacking, I know, but okay, see you later. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie. I am a massage therapist in California, and I share all about my life as a massage therapist and how to succeed in this career. All right, so I just filmed the YouTube video, and it went really well, guys. So, oh, okay, I have to get ready for my client soon, but let me show you my setup real quick. I really just sat like in front of my window and I used this as my little tripod today. Okay, I gotta get ready to go to my client's house because I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get changed, guys. I love this part. I should film more over here because this lighting is everything. Okay, so let me go ahead and get changed and I'll show you what I wear for my client's house. All right, so I'm just gonna wear my actual uniform that I wear at work. But the great thing is, is that there is no logo. So it's really just this black smock. And I have a mask here just in case I need to use it. And then I have my hair tie, so let's tie my hair. Because we need to have our hair back when we massage. There we go. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna put my pants on. All right, so I have two clients today. So one is at three o'clock. Right now it's 2.32. And then my other one, my last one is at six o'clock. That one's a hour and a half massage. A little bit farther away from here, so. So here's my little bag that I bring all my sheets in. So this is my cover. This is my plastic cover for the massage table. So I'm just gonna put that in. And then we're gonna have to go to the laundry mat and get my sheets there, which is literally like a three minute walk from here. So we do still have to go there though. So, and then of course, I'm gonna put my massage gel. Okay, what else, what else? And this is my little bag that I'm bringing, which really has nothing. It just has my inhaler some lip gloss, and then my driver's license. So I don't wanna have to, don't wanna have to bring too much when I'm, you know, going to my client's house. And I'm gonna take off my contacts as well because I really, at this point, I only wear my contacts to film content and for like special occasion. Guys, it is gonna be a long, long day today because I'm gonna take you along with me until like 7 p.m. So I also have to go to the grocery store and get some milk too after my first client because I need to make a smoothie. Okay, this part's hard because I can't find my glasses now. Where are my glasses? Hmm. Hey, so this is why I'm happy that it's only 238 because I literally cannot find my glasses right now and <laughs> oh, okay All right, I found my glasses they were like in the crevices of my bed so there we go all right another thing that massage therapists do regularly is cut their nails so I'm in the bathroom right now I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna get going and get my laundry so here is my massage table this is my bolster in here. So everything is set in the trunk of my car. All right, let's go ahead and get my sheets and then we're off to my client's house.
right, it is 2.48 and it takes around 10 minutes to get to their place. Okay, I'll see you guys there. My favorite song right now, Espresso, so good. So obviously I can't record my clients and massaging them, but this is one of my clients and I actually massage her in her gym. So it's a small little room with her gym equipment and I love it because it's like my own private spa. And right now I just finished the massage. I am packing things up. I'm disinfecting. I'm cleaning a little bit. And this is why I love having my own private clients. I just feel like I can take my time. I'm not in a rush because when working at a spa, you have a time limit. It really is like 10 minutes before your next client. So I'm kind of in a rush in my regular spa job, but I love my private clients. I love going to people's homes. Ideally, someday I would love to have my studio and kind of like work on my own time. But for now, I like the mobile aspect of it all. I like going to their homes and really forming a professional connection with my clients. I love my clients because I feel like with my private clients, I can really work on them and their needs. And it feels like, you know, they really have something going on, you know, say they're really stressed or they have a certain back issue that they want me to work on. Whereas working at a spa, sometimes people just do it for fun, you know, maybe for a girl's day. And they don't really have much going on in their body. I mean, it's not everyone, but some people really just go, you know, for the day. Their body's perfectly fine, and then they go to get champagne afterwards. You know what I mean, guys? So, I really can address the issues with my clients, with my private clients, and I really love that. And right now, I'm not really traveling too far from my clients. Usually, my clients are in a 10-mile radius and sometimes you know it'll be more than 10 miles but if it is more then i do charge a dollar extra for each additional mile so that's pretty smart i actually got this idea from one of my coworkers because that's what she does as well and i love a mobile massage however i think the hardest part for me is really bringing my table up to their home sometimes People live in homes where they're up a hill, I have to walk a lot of stairs, and it's just really hard to carry this table while I am going up the stairs. So that's the main thing. And this table is a lot heftier than other tables that you see on Amazon because I think this table is made for like being in a studio. It has more cushion to it, it's a lot more comfortable and wider. However, I do have an Amazon storefront where I display all the items that are amazing for a business. Being a mobile massage therapist has made me appreciate the beauty of the Bay Area, how diverse the scenery is, and it was just such a beautiful day. Hey guys, just got home from my first client, and I'm about to go to my second client. I have to charge my car real quick. First client was a success. All right, so I'm just charging my car right now. But yeah, so my first client was good and um, a lot of my clients, they pay me either through Zelle, Venmo, or through a check, which is cool. Um, and then I use the software called Fresha to, um, to organize my calendar and to also like organize how much I got paid, things like that. So I like it. I feel like it's not, it's not just made for massage therapists. It's for salons basically. So I don't know, it's a free app too. So I use it, it's free. I know massage book you have to pay for. So I don't really want to pay for a software just yet. And you know, Fresh is very modern. It's pretty cool, but you know, I'm still using it. So I don't really have much to say for it right now. But yeah, so I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. I need to leave by at least five, like 35, in order to make it like on time for my next client. My next client's at six o'clock. It's currently 5.15 right now. So I'm just gonna chill for a bit. I have some chicken for dinner, so I'm gonna eat some chicken. I made myself a smoothie. I put some green powder, so it looks black right now. It's mostly just like berries and green powder and protein. Um, protein powder but 
smoothie chicken and I'm just gonna literally just chill for the next like 15 minutes until I have to leave so I'll see you guys later I ate my dinner drinking my smoothie yeah it, it says it takes around 19 minutes to get to her home so time to enjoy the ride it was really nice I like charging my car because it just feels like super relaxing and time to myself so that was pretty awesome all right client number two let's go so obviously i couldn't film my massage with my client but i was in her house it was an awesome experience she was a new client but i really enjoyed it hey guys it is currently nighttime now just finished my last massage of the day. I just had two, but here are my dirty sheets. I usually wash them same day, so here are my sheets. I'm gonna take them home. And currently in front of a grocery store because I'm gonna get some milk to take home. And yeah, that's pretty much my day, literally. Like, you know, it's very relaxing. I had the best experience with this new client, by the way. I'll talk more about that when I get home. Alright guys, I'm home again and my new client was amazing and this was the first time I had booked her and she was so sweet and it was just such an amazing time and this is one thing that I love about having my own client is that you can really build like a very, you know, a very close yet professional relationship with your clients and I love people and it was just such a good experience and she referred me to her friends as well so I'm going to be sending out some of my business cards to her. Um, and then I booked her for her next appointment. So it was awesome. Like, she was so sweet. And, you know, I usually, with my clients, with my clients, I, I usually don't talk to them, of course, because I want my clients to relax. But if they really want to talk to me and that's just how they feel comfortable, I'll let that happen. And that's why I think having good communication skills is super important as a massage therapist and i enjoyed talking to her it was awesome so it was a good day so i used the software fresha and i just confirmed their payments on there so everything is set it was a successful day I, again i can't wait to make this more of a full-time thing work for myself and um and I really enjoy having my own clients. It's just a lot easier for me. I love having breaks in between, doing my own thing. And it's not as hard on the body. I love meeting different people. And it's an awesome experience. And I think this is an interesting phase in my life right now as a massage therapist. So, you know, we learn things, new things along the way. Who knows what I'll be in the next five years, but I'm enjoying this phase of life right now and now I'm gonna go ahead and shower take off my uniform and just enjoy my evening guys so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye